What's good, my beautiful people? Welcome to my channel, Lovely Soul Empress. Today I'm going to be doing the Water Signs weekly reading from June 1st to June 7th, 2020. I'm going to do a four-card spread. I'm going to do the um, the situation, uh, the blockage, the advice from spirit, and the outcome. And then I'll pull some clarifiers and some love messages. I already shuffled the decks, prayed, and smudged with Palo Santo. Um, as well, uh, if you'd like a private reading, um, the information is in the description box. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I pull a daily card for the overall energy of the day. Uh, this reading, as I said, is for the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. If you are Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, North Node 2. Uh, this also could be for the cross watcher if you are dealing with with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or someone who has those important placements, okay? This will not resonate with all water signs. Um, please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, remember that the energies are fluid. Uh, they can be uh, reversed. And as well, there is no sex in tarot. It is, we're just talking about the energies. So I'm going to start off with clearing the energy and then we'll jump right in. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> Spirit, what messages do you have for the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio for the week June 1st to June 7th, 2020, Spirit? Messages for their highest good, Spirit. Those important messages they need to know right now. Messages they are permitted to see. Use me as your vessel, Spirit. I'm ever so grateful and humbled by the blessings and the gifts. Please let me see with clarity the messages you have for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio spirit. Okay. So we have here the nine of knives as the situation. So this is the nine of swords. So someone being stuck in their head, sleepless nights, anxiety, worries, just feeling tormented by the situation. The four of knives. So someone, this is in the position of the blockage. So someone going within, resting, retreating, trying to contemplate what just happened. Um, and, you know, what can be done about that? And then at the advice of uh, spirit is the grandchildren, which represents the star car. So this is the universe. This is also ancestors stepping in to assist. Okay. And <clears throat> in this deck, it means that your ancestors are, um, are trying to help you with the situation. Um, this is also talking about the divine coming in. Okay. And then you have the eight of baskets as the outcome, somebody walking away, leaving something behind as the overall energy for the reading. You have the two of baskets. So this is the two of cups. This is basically the lover's card of the minor arcana. So we're going to get some clarification here. But it looks like somebody is really um, suffering and holding back, going within to try to find the answer. The universe is trying to help you. You're asking the divine for help and somebody walking away. Okay, so Spirit, why is the nine of, nine, nine of knives here for the water signs? Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, why is the nine of knives here, Spirit? Why is the nine of knives here, spirit? 
Cancer Pisces and Scorpio week of June 7th, June 1st to June 7th, 2020 spirit. Why is the nine of knives here for Cancer Pisces and Scorpio? So first off, <clears throat> the nine of knives, as I said, is about anxiety, sleepless nights, torment. Now, you that's clarified by the Three of Pentacles. So this could be about some foundation that you've been building for some time. And that's clarified by the star. And you have the star here. So this is double confirmation that the universe is trying to help you. You see, she's pouring both into the water and on earth. That's symbolizing the, the divine and uh, the 3D, the earthly plane. Okay, so they're trying to bring some balance to the situation, asking for help from universe, right? Spirit, why does the water signs have the four of knives? Why do the water signs have the four of knives, spirit? Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, the sun. So... You're trying to uh, recuperate from... Um, this situation of feeling so overwhelmed. The sun is here. The universe is coming in to tell you that there will be a, a positive outcome, although it may be slow moving. Spirit, why is the sun here with the four of knives? Why is the sun here with the four of knives, Spirit? Why is the sun here for the four, with the four of knives for my water sign, Spirit? Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Why is the sun here with the four of knives? Last shuffle, Spirit. Why is the sun here with the four of knives? Temperance. So, wow. Okay. So, in divine timing... There will be a positive outcome, but there's also some need for reflection to go within and to rest and like absorb, you know, what is going on with this situation and to trust in the universe that um, things will be positive. But that's the blockage that, you know, somebody needs to come out because it's in the blockage position. So somebody needs to um, come out of that um resting phase they might have been there too long stuck in their heads right now it's time to take action right with the sun and that you're being guided with temperance right divine timing and to and, and the star twice yeah okay spirit why is the grandchildren here the star card why is the grandchildren here is advice from spirit for the water signs Cancer, Pisces, and Gemini, and uh, Scorpio. I don't know why I said Gemini. There might be a Gemini involved in this situation. Then you have the Ten of Cups and the Strength card. Okay. So, the advice from Spirit is the Star card. Telling you that there needs to be balance, that the universe is here, that all you need to do is ask and, it's, and, and assistance will be given to you. That is clarified by the Ten of Cups, right? So you just need to know what it is that you want and ask for it. And it could be, right? Because spirit is giving you the strength. And here you are, strength, right? Trying to show up or call in on your inner uh, strength. This card also represents Leo. Right now, we have Aquarius on the deck twice. We have Leo on the deck twice. We have Cancer, right? Uh, and the Ten of Cups, I mean, that is a a water card. Um, and like I said, uh, Cancer's here too, right? Let's continue. Spirit, why is the Eight of Baskets here as the outcome for the water signs? Why is the Eight of Baskets here as the outcome for the water signs? That's too many, Spirit. Why is the Eight of Baskets here for the water signs? Cancer, Gemini. I mean, can't look. The Gemini came out twice. Um, I said that twice. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Why is the Eight of Baskets here for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio? June 1st to June 7th, Spirit. Why is the Eight of Baskets here for my water signs, Spirit? Why the Eight of Baskets is the outcome, Spirit? 
Last shuffle spirit. Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Hmm. And the King of Wands. So So this, like I said, this is about a foundation, this being up all night, this anxiety, the universe coming to help in this situation, somebody pulling back and resting and trying to recuperate from a situation. Again, with the universe trying to help, 10 of cups, happy life, happy uh, wife, happy family, clarified by the strength card, Okay, and then you have the Eight of Cups, somebody walking away, Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. So two female energies. This could be a um, an LGBTQ relationship. Or it could be, you know, um, someone in their feminine energy. But either way, there's some type of balance that's trying to be brought into this situation. I have not seen an ending card, okay? I have not seen any kind of real split, any kind of third party, any kind of thing like that. What I do see is somebody really feeling anxious and staying up all night about a situation. Spirit, why is the two of baskets here from my water signs? Cancer, Gem uh, Cancer Pisces, and Scorpio. Why is the two of baskets here? Why is the two of baskets here? That's too many, spirit. Why is the two of baskets here for the water signs, spirit? Why is the two of baskets here for the water signs? Why is the two of baskets here for the water signs? Week of June 1st to June 7th, spirit. Why is the two of baskets here for Gemini, for, for the water signs? So I'm gonna stop for a second because while I'm doing this, it's coming to my mind that I keep saying Gemini and this Queen of Wands is here. So there might be a Gemini that's involved in this situation. Okay. Two of Baskets Spirit. Why do the water signs have the Two of Baskets for June 1st to June 7th, 2020 Spirit? Why do the water signs have the Two of Baskets Spirit? Why do the water signs have the Two of Baskets Last shuffle spirit. What? Oh. That's too many spirit. Last shuffle spirit. Four pentacles. Somebody's still holding back because they're heartbroken. This was their wish fulfillment the lovers in the two of baskets. So there wasn't a breakup. There was a deception. Someone holding back because they were heartbroken, but this is their wish fulfillment. The two of cups and the lovers, I knew this was gonna come out. So this is a very strong and passionate connection. This is, uh, could even be a pre, um, like a past life relationship. Now, remember that all soulmates, you know, doesn't mean that we're going to be with them forever. It means that we have unfinished business with them. But in this card spread, I do not see, um, I do not see anything ne negative other than there was a deception and someone is stuck in their heads about it but the universe is telling you that everything is going to be okay you have too many um major arcana here that specifically speak about positive outcomes so i am gonna pull some love messages and then we're gonna um get some advice from spirit Spirit, why, no, Spirit, what 
what does my water signs feel for their partner? June 1st to June 7th, Spirit 2020. What do the water signs feel for their partner, Spirit? What do the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio feel for their partners? What do the water signs feel for their partners, Spirit? June 1st to June 7th, Spirit 2020. Last shuffle, Spirit. So you're considering freeing yourself. Maybe this deception and this heartbreak was a lot to, to consider. And it says you want to free yourself because you don't trust them because of the deception. Okay. Spirit, what, um, what does my water science partners feel for them, Spirit? What do my water science partners feel for them, Spirit? What do the water science partner feels for them? June 1st to June 7th, Spirit. What do the water signs partners feel for them? What do the water signs partners feel for them, Spirit? June 1st to June 7th. What do the water signs partners feel for them, Spirit? Last shuffle, Spirit. So there may be children involved or they want children. They're retreating. They're thinking about loving themselves first, too, because of deception. So I don't know who lied to who, but you both are pulling back, even though there's a lot of passion here, and you both want to express your love. Spirit, what actions will the water signs take towards their partner week of June 1st to June 7th, what actions will water signs take towards their partner spirit? What actions will water signs take towards their partner spirit? What actions will the water signs take towards their partner spirit? June 1st to June 20, um, June 7th, 2020 spirit. Last shuffle spirit. So you're going to be flirting with this person. Or you might just be flirting in general because you put out unrequited love. So you are not trying to step up to the plate at this time. Spirit, what actions will the water signs partners be taking towards them this week? It says religious factors. So they may feel like, um, yeah, here's the separation card. So you guys if you're not in separation, that's coming. But this was a true love. It may be interference with a new love. Heart to heart conversations are needed. Spirit, what is the outcome of this situation for my water signs? Week of June 1st to June 7th, Spirit, 2020. What is the outcome for the situation for the water signs, Spirit? What is the outcome for the situation for the water sign spirit? What is the outcome? June 1st to June 7th, 2020 spirit. What is the outcome for the water signs? This could be the one. This is a past life relationship. Stay optimistic. So you might be giving love a second chance. Yeah, give your relationship a second chance. You guys are going to try to re-spark it, but you both are on some negative shit right now. Like you're not really sure if you should give it a go. And so it may be longer than this week, but it does look like all these positive um, cards. And, you know, we are in retro Venus retrograde right now. So this holding back, everybody's holding back right now. So uh, I'm going to get some advice from Spirit. I'm going to get some advice for my water signs. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, week of June 1st to June 7th, 2020, Spirit. Advice for the Cancer signs. Yeah, and there it is. An offer. So an offer is coming your way. 
this week? It may be the talk. It did say, you know, um, heart to heart conversations. So let's see, you know, I'm wishing you guys the best. You did have the two of baskets. You did have um, two stars here, temperance, uh, the ten of cups, the lovers, the nine of cups. I mean, I have faith you guys are going to get it together. All right. So that's what I have for you, uh, beautiful water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Wishing you light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.